Hi everyone, I'm Monique and I'm so excited to be guest designing for Bramble Fox this month. Today I'm going to be creating this fluorescent page and I'm going to be making use of these lovely perspectives and stencils from Bramble Fox. So I'm going to be making use of these sweet little fluorescent mini palms and sunshines, the summer sunshine title piece and these lovely hearts which I'm going to be using to do some lovely stenciling in the background. I've already prepped my white cardstock with some clear gesso and I'm just trimming off a little bit from each side to make it slightly smaller than 12 by 12 because because I do want to mount it onto patterned paper. I have these lovely neon watercolors which tie in so beautifully with the fluorescent little sunshines and palm trees and they just coordinate beautifully. So these were the perfect choice for my background. So I've chosen three colors for the background, neon pink, neon green and neon yellow and I'm just working on each color individually at first. So I'm wetting the background in a patch, adding some pink and letting the, the pink move about a bit, then doing the green and the yellow. And you will have noticed that I had a white strip between each color where I hadn't wet the background. And that was just so that the colors wouldn't merge straight away. I wanted to finish painting a bit of each color first and then I wet the in-between areas so that the colors could start to mix together. I find doing each colour in turn and just using a controlled portion of paper where I've wet it individually just allows me to have a little bit more control of the, the mixing process. Now to do a little bit of stamping while that background dries. I've got these lovely fluorescent texture pastes from Vicky Booten's Colour Study Collection and they just tied in beautifully with the watercolours and the perspectives from Bamble Fox. So I'm just scraping a little bit of texture paste on to the stamp and I realised as I went along that less is actually more. I'd put quite a bit on the stamp. So here you can see I'm going back and like picking up some of the spare texture paste from my first stampings and using it um, to do some more repeat stamps. Now, um, what I'm doing now is I'm mixing two colors together. I'm doing half yellow, half pink, and kind of blending the colors in the middle. And I want to use this one where the pink and the yellow in the background merge together. So I'm gonna be placing these hearts tone on tone with the background. And here are some close-ups where you can see that lovely bright colour and the gorgeous texture from the texture pastes. Now I'm just going to be cutting all of these out so that I can use them as individual embellishments. Now that those are all ready, I want to get my patterned paper stuck down. So I'm using this um, sheet of patterned paper from Vicky Booten's Colour Study Collection. It's called New Ideas and I'm just gutting it because I've got my lovely mixed media background that I want to use as my main background and I have plans for that centerpiece as you can see there. I'm just layering my photos on. One is of me and my daughter lying on the grass in the sunshine and the other is a close-up shot of the grass with a pretty little buttercup. And then I've put down my title just underneath my photos using the summer sunshine perspective and two little gorgeous palm trees which just fit perfectly in above that title and then the lovely sunshine up in the sky. You may notice that I've tied in my perspectives with the background colors so the sunshine is on top of the neon yellow background and the palm trees are on top of the neon green background. And then I move on to placing those lovely stamped hearts around again doing some tone on tone matching. I came across this quote which was just perfect, summer has a flavour like no other, always fresh and simmered in sunshine and I love that it had the words that were in my title, summer and sunshine, so I've highlighted those and made those a little bit more bold so that they stand out. So I've just trimmed them down into strips so that I can stick them down and you will have seen me there just making some marks where my photos were so that I can stencil um, so that I know where my photos are so that my stenciling can be a little bit behind the photos and also um, above and around the photos as well. So I'm starting off with some yellow and then I'm going to be adding some pink and blending the two in the middle as well. I love that beautiful orange that's created when the two mix together. Now that black piece of pattern paper is not stuck down yet but I am doing the stenciling going over it onto the white sheet behind. Um, I love the stenciling just kind of tumbling over that card, kind of merging the layers together. Now I'm going to be adding some more stenciling to the top and the sides 
just remember to make sure that your first lot of stenciling is dry first before you go and layer more on top. I did forget it first. Thankfully, I realized before I made too much of a mess and I managed to get all my stenciling done without smudging everything across the page. Now that I've got everything back into its place, it's time to stick everything back down, starting off with that little quote before moving on to sticking the photos and then the embellishments. Now before I add the perspectives, I've decided I want to do a little bit of neon stitching. So I do a few little lines of stitching and then I stitch under each one of those lines on the text strips that I've added on and I've also done a little neon border all the way around that mixed media background before distressing the edges. And now it's finally time to stick it all down. I want my centerpiece to be raised off of the background so I'm just putting lots of adhesive on the back of it and using some craft foam to stick that down and to raise it up a little bit. Now because I've got hearts spilling off the edge of that centerpiece I need to make sure that they're all lined up when I stick that piece down again. Now I feel like I'm constantly creating the layout and then taking everything off and then putting it all back together again and then taking it all off again and I feel like I go through that so many times with each layout I create but finally it's all getting stuck down and I can see the end of this page in sight. So I'm just using some Nouveau glue to stick down all of my lovely little perspectives from Bramble Fox and then I'm going to be taking some silicon glue to stick my hearts down. I love silicon glue because it really allows me some control of the height um, of each of those little hearts that I'm sticking down. So some I can have um, slightly flatter and some higher and it gives great dimension. So now I've got these lovely little black gems which I'm just dotting about each of those little hearts. So I've added three little black gems around each of the hearts and I feel that it just finishes it off nicely. And here is a little close up peek at that lovely fluorescent color, the gorgeous Bramble Fox stenciling detail and those sweet little perspectives that just finish off this page. I've linked all these lovely Bramble Fox products up in the description box for you below. I've so enjoyed creating with these lovely products and I can't wait to share my next project with you later in the month. Thanks for watching. Bye!